Bling. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome back to Daily Doodles for You. And today I'm gonna show you how to draw SpongeBob. So before we get started, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. All of that is greatly appreciated and it is really, really, really great of you to do so. All right, so starting SpongeBob, I'm gonna start with his nose. I usually start with the eyes, but um, <clears throat> we're gonna start with a shape like that. <laughs> And uh, then we're going to do a shape like that, which is one of the eyes. <laughs> so next, let's do the other eye, but it's not going to be a total full circle. We're going to leave a little bit of room right here because we're going to make a shape like this. And then we can finish that other eye. So this is going to be um, like a little cheek. So we can work on his smile now. So I'm going to do a little line right here. And then we're going to curve it and bring it on up to this little shape we made. And then we can do a little line like that. And next, let's do his two front teeth. So one and two. All right, so next I'm going to draw his mouth wide open and bring our line all the way back up here to that little funny mark we made. Okay, so his mouth is super wide open. And let's do the tongue. So we got like a little hill and then another little hill. And then we can do a funny little shape like that. So um, almost like we can see down his throat. We can color this one in all dark. And uh, in case you didn't know, that funny little shape at the back of your throat, it's called your uvula. Okay, so next let's do, um, let's, let's keep working with the eyes here. So we can do a circle, and then another circle inside that circle, and another one, and this one's gonna be all dark. Okay, so we can do the same over here. Circle, another circle, and another circle, and all dark. All right, and we can give them three eyelashes. And they're pretty thick eyelashes. We can do that on each eye. All righty. So next, I'm gonna do a little line like this underneath his mouth and then we can get started on his actual sponge square shape so it's going to be obviously a square shape but it's also going to be kind of like wavy so let's start i'm going to start right here wavy 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 and then we can come on down wavy 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 And on this side too, of course. And going across. Okay. So right here, I'm gonna do the sleeve of his shirt. And I'm gonna do two lines coming down for his arm. And a little hand, so we've got a thumb. He's got three fingers. One, two, and three. Okay, so one hand all done. And then I'm going to make a line, a little wavy line like that. And come on up this way. Wavy, 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 wavy. 
and join up there. All right, so next I'm gonna start right here under his mouth and I'm gonna make a upside down triangle and then a little bit of space there and do another upside down triangle. And then I can give a little, like a little U shape here. And then we can do a little tie. Okay, so next I'm gonna do a line coming down here and a line coming down here. And I'm gonna go across this way. And right here, I'm gonna do a line coming down and go this way. All right, so next I'm going to do another line here. Like that. And then go along this way again. And then we can do some little thin rectangles. All along here. All right, so next I'm gonna do his other arm. So I got a little shape like this for his sleeve on the other side. And then we can do one line, another line, and do one, two, three fingers, and a thumb. And now let's do a little shape like this right here, and another one right here. And I'm gonna put two lines there, and two right here. And then I'm gonna do a little U shape at the bottom of both of those. And I'm gonna do a line right here, and right here. And then we can do his shoes which are a silly shape, like that. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna do some circles for all the little holes in his body, <laughs> his sponginess. So they can be all kinds of different sizes. They can be wherever, small, big, and yeah, I think that's good. And uh, I'm gonna start coloring now.
All right, everyone, we are finished our SpongeBob drawing. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. I hope you have an awesome, wonderful, super duper day. And uh, I hope to see you back here tomorrow for whatever we draw tomorrow. Goodbye.